Hi, I'm Greg Bain with Nature's Alpine Solutions. Here to spend a little moment with you on chelation for micronutrient applications on, on crops. And chelation is an often misunderstood and can be a very complex issue. And the word chelation really comes from the Greek or the Latin word for claw. And what this illustrates is if you have a chelated material, the chelate itself, or the ligand is what it's called, bonds to the metal ion, nutrient metal ion in this case, and protects it from bonding to other materials in the soil or on the leaf surface, making it unavailable. So when, it, when a material or a metal is chelated, the ultimate issue is to keep that metal in solution. So this chelating material bonds to the metal, forms a very soluble, water-soluble component, and keeps it from reacting with other materials, typically in the soil. Um, unfortunately, Mother Nature was very unkind to us when uh, growth of plants developed in that use of nutrients through the soil is really pretty inefficient. Uh, we don't really have many other options, obviously, but to keep in mind that application of micronutrients that are unprotected or unchelated in the soil environment, you can lose a lot of efficiency from that application. So uh, one of the issues with metals, whether they're impurities or nutrients for the plant, they're very reactive in the soil environment. And that means they could tie up with other materials and become insoluble. When these complexes become insoluble, they are no longer available to the plant for use. Uh, so the ultimate key of chelation is to protect that metal ion from bonding with something to tie up so it's not available to the plant for use. I think we've all seen different pH levels in the soil that metals are the most available and not only is it soil pH but the matrix in which you apply these micronutrients meaning if you're foliar feeding a micronutrient and you're saying, well, there aren't any chemical constituents in my foliar to tie up, you're probably applying this, this foliar application with a pesticide of some kind or some type of fertility. So there are things to tie up your micronutrient application if you do not chelate the material. Uh, then again, I mentioned early on in the video, chelation is uh, very can be very complex and highly understood. There's weak chelants and there's very strong chelants. The weak chelant, chelants being protecting the, the particular metal very slightly might protect it for an hour, a day, uh, or even minutes in a soil solution or in a tank blend versus a strong chelant uh, which protects the metal under all, nearly all soil conditions. Nature's uses only EDTA chelated cationic micronutrients. The EDTA is considered a very strong chelate and protects the metals from bonding to other materials, thus reducing tie-up. Um, so even if you're applying a foliar application, um, it can be important to use chelates to protect that micronutrient from bonding with, say, phosphate that might be present in your sp spray solution. So uh, with that, I'll leave you and you can contact uh, Nature's Technical Services or your local DSM for further discussion on this topic. Thank you.